Hey guys, this is Presley with MTG Lion, and today we're going to talk about the Magic the Gathering books and the lore behind that. So there are over 2,000 playing pieces in a very, very immersive and huge storyline with Magic the Gathering, and there are hundreds of literal forms of... Uh, <clears throat> there are hundreds of literal forms written by various authors, but they all really try to decipher the same kind of mysteries going on, even though they kind of vary and do their own thing in their own different way. Um, right. The main question is, should you buy and should you really look into these Magic the Gathering books in the first place? And that's kind of really difficult to say, and the reason for that is, is there are so many, and you have to check all of the publishing dates. Because some may talk about other books, and there might be Easter eggs or things like that in one that you might not pick up in another book. Um, for example, if you start with the Onslaught trilogy, you probably won't read any more Magic the Gathering books, and the reason for that is because there are so many references to other literary works in the Magic the Gathering universe in this one trilogy. Um, Alright, there's a big disconnect uh, also with the games in the book, um, and the only book that fe uh, there's a big disconnect can, uh, there's a big disconnect between the games and the books. And the only book that featured locations in the actual story timeline was the Odyssey Cycle. And another, another reason that some people don't like the Magic the Gathering books and more is that a lot of it doesn't have very good dialogue or really very good characters. They're kind of boring, um, like Song of Time or... like Song of Time or Cursed Land, um, those are kind of a good example of a um, just very boring kind of dialogue, very boring kind of characters together in development. Um, now, not all are bad. Not all of the lore in Magic the Gathering books are bad. Um, for instance, there are some like Prophecy, Scourge, Legions, and those are good for people that already have a basic knowledge of Magic the Gathering. It's just kind of to help along with your extra knowledge. Um, in, in my personal opinion, uh, if you're a beginner, you should stick with um, beginning, beginning guide and like tips that you might find online. And I would probably save the Magic the Gathering books and lore for a more seasoned player. Um, but that's my opinion, and I hope you guys you know, like it, and if you don't, then you can let me know, and 